नमस्ते ऑल वेलकम टू द क्रिप्टो सीरीज टुडे इज कैटेगरी वन दैट इज एक्सप्लोरिंग बेसिक टर्मनोलॉजी पार्ट टू एज पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द टोकन एंड कॉइन्स नाउ If you are aware of the digital gold, 24 karat gold, 22 karat gold, we are going to use the exact same context to understand what is blockchain and how it is related to uh, crypto coin or crypto uh, or token, right? So it's basically coin versus token, but we are going to use the context of gold, 24 karat, 22 karat, and digital gold to understand uh, how it is, how one thing is related to other, and when can we say it is a token or when can we say it is a coin. so uh, that is what we are going to discuss this and before you start with this video i hope you have watched the category 1 explaining exploring basic terminology part 1 where we understood about what is blockchain what is block hash nouns and all those things because those are very much uh, that that knowledge is very much required uh, to basically get a better understanding the coin versus token thing so i hope you are watching this video only after that and not even if you are not if you are seeing this directly that's fine but it would be better if you go in sequence so with that mention let's get started so to start with the relation between the token and coin it's like we are trying to understand only one term but there are many concept that it is going to throw light upon so let's start with this so uh, we are aware of 24 karat gold 22 karat gold digital gold so let's take that as our context and try to understand the coin versus token so 24 karat gold is a literal gold right now the derivatives of it for example the digital gold it is not derived from the actual 24 karat gold but the but the digital gold is getting its value from 24 karat gold right uh similarly we have a 22 karat gold uh, which is the actually derived from the 24 karat gold so here we can see that uh, we are trying to look into two derivatives one which is actually derived from it in terms of material the second one which is derived from it in terms of value because digital gold gets its value from the market value of the gold right so uh, we see somehow these two derivative or these two things that is digital gold and 20, 22 karat gold are dependent on the 24 karat gold so to uh, so giving the crypto terms to this let's say the 24 karat gold is our coin okay and the 22 karat gold and the digital gold are nothing but tokens so here there is no uh, connection so far if you are seeing just wait for a moment and we'll try to understand now if we if we look into this uh, icons the ethereum is a coin here ethereum is not the blockchain blockchain will come in a moment but as of now ethereum here is simply a coin now the tokens which runs on the ethereum blockchain are uh, the tron uh, zilla uh, e erc20 tokens and various other projects which will have its own tokens which are being operated on top of ethereum blockchain now let's go back one step again and here we see that the gold which was our coin 24 karat gold is being mined and operated on top of which platform that platform is nothing but the earth right similarly in our case the ethereum coin the tokens all are running on top of evm or we are calling it as ethereum virtual machine or we literally call it as ethereum blockchain okay now here the straightforward term uh, that the statements that i can give you is if a, if we calling something as a coin it means it is having its own blockchain so when i'm saying ethereum coin it means it has a blockchain which is ethereum blockchain now there are the tokens which we are discussing the tron zilla erc20 t20 erc20 tokens all these are hosted on top of the ethereum blockchain now if i am trying to develop something new project and i want a token uh, for it okay so i'll simply host on top of uh, any blockchain which is suitable for my use case now how uh, the blockchains are differing from each other which blockchain to use for my use case that we'll try to understand a bit in this demonstration and a bit in the mining demonstration so uh, going uh, let's go ahead with this i hope so far the token and this thing is uh, uh, is not completely uh, like we did not uh, completed our explanation but i hope you got the small grip right let's move forward 
taking another example ios is software ios operating system is nothing but a platform on top of which we have ios apps right similarly android operating system is nothing but a platform on top of which we have android application similarly for my project i am uh, choosing a platform which is nothing but i am choosing a blockchain based on the services and functionalities that a, a specific blockchain might provide now what uh, what functionalities what blockchains that we will get uh, to that point in a moment but for now uh, let's say for my project uh, ethereum platform ethereum blockchain is suitable because it provides so many services which we are going to look in a moment so uh, the token that i want to develop for my project i am going to host it on the ethereum blockchain in our case in our example so that's why we can say here just like android operating system uh, is is uh, like android apps is placed on top of or hosted on top of android operating system similarly the ethereum tokens are nothing but the tokens which are hosted on the ethereum blockchain is called as ethereum tokens or ether tokens okay mm -hmm. similarly if any token is hosted on the binance blockchain it is nothing but a binance tokens so why actually token can't we just have a blockchain for everything and call it as a coin why you are having coin for one and token for one okay so before uh, uh, discussing about this why token let me repeat this one statement again if 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 uh, if we are calling something as a coin that is if i say bitcoin is a coin it means there is a blockchain which is specifically or which is created for this bitcoin that is bitcoin blockchain is created and uh, it's like a coin if having its own blockchain then we'll call it as a coin like if a token okay let me put it this way if a token has a a blockchain will call it as a coin if a token is simply hosted on someone else's blockchain then it is simply the token and not a coin okay so why token let's say uh, there's a person uh, who wants to uh, who wants to sell a textile uh, who wants to start a textile business or wants to sell his clothes so here he will start by uh, sending messages on whatsapp or the application or the social media that is already having in reach and let everyone know that i have this kind of models and all then you can buy and later on he can take some time and then he can create a website uh, and he can sell online and then uh, once he get the investment then he can start with opening small branches and shops and once he is good with that and he still wants to go uh, more expand more then he can start with his own supply chain right so here the person who want to sell clothes did not started with simply uh, creating the new supply chain here that person started step by step similarly let's say i created one application or i'm writing a smart contract since you we have not discussed much about smart contract let's simply call it as a project so for my project i want to have a token right uh, it's it i want it to be operated on uh, using tokens so uh, to have a token or a coin so if i want to have a coin it means i need to have a complete blockchain of my own now creating a blockchain is not uh, creating maintaining creating all the services of the blockchain uh, that are required for my project is not a small thing so what i can do is i can simply try to find out what are the blockchains uh, that are available in that uh, which blockchain can provide the services that i want so i can simply create the token on top of that blockchain for example uh, here in our case let's say i want to write my application which is uh, requiring what which requires the this thing which requires a gas now what is gas we'll discuss in a moment uh, but let's say it's a transaction cost i want a wallet i want security i want a safety of whatever the assets or things are stored in the blockchain let's say call it as a privacy so these are some of the services that a blockchain can provide now instead of creating all the services again i can simply host or create a token on top of that blockchain so you can see my application and then uh, some existing blockchain network that i selected because it is having these services and on top of that i'll have my token now once i am good with this and if i still want to expand more and i want to have more personalization more customization which is not supported by the existing blockchain then i can move ahead and create my own blockchain uh, that's why i mentioned if required now as we have seen that 
select uh, we we have to select blockchain based on our use case when we are not creating our own so uh, to understand that let's take an example so bitcoin blockchain is not providing much of the services it is simply providing the store value benefit that is you buy it at some price and it will have a value uh, of its own and after some time um, based on whether the value is increased or decreased you can take a decision whether to buy more or sell more so it's only for investment purpose uh, uh, its core value is this investment or may buying selling right so that is the feature that is provided by the bitcoin blockchain similarly for the ethereum blockchain let's say it is providing us with the capability of writing the smart contracts uh, for as of now just assume that it is providing us the capability to write application on top of ethereum blockchain or host an application on top of ethereum blockchain okay now here we just gave an example that uh, i want to write a smart contract uh, and uh, the the environment the platform uh, all the things that is required uh, is feasible for me to write and host on the ethereum blockchain now we are not going to deep into it because we have not yet discussed what is smart contract what is erc uh, 20 token in deep as of now but this is just to let you understand that we have different different blockchains and we have different different services provided by each blockchain okay now how it actually works how the services are created how a blockchain can provide a services it's simply a block a chain of blocks right so how all this is possible that we'll try to understand in a separate demonstration which is completely focused on how blockchain works but as of now i hope this concept is clear let's go ahead and try to answer one more question today i have a token uh, and why we create a token that you already understood because i don't want to build the complete thing from the scratch i want to make use of the existing platform and build on top of that right just like we have seen i don't want to i want to create a music app i don't want to create a complete android operating system and on top of that i want to create music app no right i simply want a music app so i i found that android operating system is there on top of which uh, i'll simply use the ides and compatibility tools to create the application so similarly we have used the token to make use of the platform and we are hosting our application now is it possible to move or convert the token to coin or coin to a token so the answer is a coin cannot be converted to token uh, okay and then there is multiple uh, other ways uh, different different ways in which we can uh, see the coin value is 10 rupees or token value is 10 rupees we can do the exchange but it is not literally the conversion so can we uh, convert a coin to token no but can we convert a token to coin yes now how can we do that okay uh, so far it, if you have understood i think that is good for you this is just a bonus concept can we move from uh, token to coin yes you can uh, how we can do that let's see so let's say as of today i have hosted my project on ethereum blockchain and i have a token called d point token okay now uh, tomorrow uh, i am a well my application is well going and it is demand is continuously increasing and now i'm in a state where i can create a new blockchain and i have a requirement to create a new blockchain so to do that i'll simply create a new blockchain and i'll simply create a coin on that blockchain let's say d point token as of today is running on ethereum blockchain now i'll create a new blockchain which is d point blockchain and on top of that i'll have a d point coin now the d point token cannot be converted to d point blockchain directly because both are running on different blockchains or even if they are running on same we cannot convert directly so one thing we need to note that the d point token which is running on ethereum blockchain will have some uh, behavior of its own so when i'm creating a new blockchain and i want i am creating a new coin on top of it i need to make sure that both the token and this coin behaves similarly so that i can exchange it later on okay now this point noted we have successfully developed the d point blockchain we have successfully developed the d point coin now i want to convert the d point token to d point coin how can i do that i'll need to create a bridge on top of the blockchain to which the coin belongs to and with the help of this bridge i can uh, in cash or i can say i can do the exchange of token to the coins and i can slowly destroy this token so finally you can see the tokens usage 
is uh, slowly slowly decreasing and coming uh, and finally it is coming to the end so once the end of token then we it is we can say that the all the tokens are completely converted to the coins and only the coins will be utilized right so it's on based on our use case we take a call whether we want to use the existing blockchain or we want to create our own blockchain if we are using the existing blockchain then uh, the currency or the tokens that we are using is actually the token but if the token is having its own blockchain then we call it as a coin right now uh, there is one more bonus concept nft uh, non-fungible token so let's talk about that so non-fungible token uh, is is it why 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 we don't have a non-fungible coin so every coin will have a specific value right so it is increasing or decreasing but at any point of time every coin will have same value but in case of nft every asset because nft is what it is simply the ownership between uh, any digital asset uh, to the uh, the actual owner it is simply that reference that link so here comes the single bold statement that every nft will have a different value at any point of time that is why we call it as a fun non-fungible token okay so because it is not interchangeable that is why it is termed as non-fungible and token because it is not having its own blockchain i hope that makes sense uh with this uh, mention we come to the end of the category one part one video I hope with that explanation now the coin versus token concept is crystal clear whenever you think about token or blockchain or coin how things are related I hope you will never get any sort of confusion going forward and these terminologies understanding of these terminologies is very good even for the investment purpose even for uh, like further development purpose even for understanding the upcoming terminology so i hope you are clear with this concept so far if you have any queries with respect to the topics that are covered so far let me know in the comment section and this was my first whiteboard animation so how you felt about it or is there any improvements that i can mean that that also you can mention in the comment section i'll definitely try to work on it and yeah uh, with that mention let's uh, meet with one more new topic in the next video meanwhile do subscribe to support and for getting updates about these new contents that i'm regularly uploading click on that bell icon and finally do share with your mates whom you think this content would be relevant so that's all for today thank you